Hey, I want to show you a little bit about the LX25. We just got ours built and assembled after we cleared the property and built a um, concrete slab for it so we could have it perfectly level. You see that we put uh, ours on four by sixes, just did four by sixes that connected between the, the uh, three um, uh, base connections and then put uh, one on each end and that's how they actually recommend you doing that. I bought the um, optional uh, loading ramps. Uh, I have a tractor but I figured I would use the loading ramps instead of putting it right onto the unit. And uh, we did have quite a few problems getting this thing assembled because there were a lot of parts missing. Um, so thankfully Woodmiser was really helpful and they overnighted the key parts that I needed and then they're ground shipping a couple others. If you'll notice the, uh, the handle doesn't have a, or the, the adjustment doesn't have a handle on it yet. I don't have any water yet, but for the logs I'm cutting, they say you don't necessarily need water anyway. We brought a, uh, a um, spray bottle and we're just gonna try spraying it as we do this. So, so we're gonna just uh, do a quick demonstration. We'll load the log on and get it all set up. This is my first time to ever cut a piece of wood with a sawmill, so I may be experimenting as we're doing that, but I'll just kind of show you the, the experience we're having. I got the larger engine on this one, um, so we'll see how that works as well. I've got a piece of poplar here that I'm gonna use. It's one of the logs that we cleared out of the spot where the sawmill is now. We had to, as we were using these loading ramps, we had a little bit of a hard time getting it past the first little uh, divot there, so we had to just kind of push it a little bit with our foot just to help out. Let me just try loading it up now and see if I can get it to go up any further, and I can't. Um, okay, so it, it may just be that everything's really wet right now. That's my guess. Um, I'm gonna have to, let me just try pushing it while I do it. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. How is this supposed to work? Because there's no, there's no friction here. I just gotta get my leg behind it. It's the only way I can begin to get it up. That's a bear. I don't know if I'm just doing this totally wrong or what. Um, I got it over the first one. Let me just see if I can get it over the second one here. Okay. Now, it's just a bear, I think. It may just be because everything's wet. I'm going to try going up one side first and then the other. That seems to help. I might be using my tractor a lot more than I thought. I'll try it again when it's dry, but it's sure not going up easily. But once you get it up, it's up.
All right, well, I'm up. Let me just try getting it into place now. And probably need to adjust my backstops. Well, maybe not. They're looking pretty good. And I'm gonna clamp it in place. Down. I'm gonna get it low enough that I can make several cuts here. Bring this in. Still trying to learn what that does, but I'm guessing it that it supports the blade. And uh, right now I'm over the log. Um, so let me do this. I'm gonna just bring my bring this down. Let's get to at least some first contact. All right. I'm gonna make the first cut fairly high just to see what how it does. Um, I've got everything leveled up, should be ready to go. We'll go ahead and crank up the engine and see what we got. So we've had some time to uh, look at what we did and kind of think about it. I'm a total rookie here, and that's fine. Um, so we're just going to keep playing with this log. As you can see, I cut it almost halfway down just because of the taper of the log. So I'm sure that those of you who know what you're doing are probably laughing at me right now, but whatever. Um, and I also realized that, you know, this is a 12-foot log, and they said you could do 12 and a half uh, feet. And obviously, I've got more log space, you know, plenty more. So what we're going to do, we're just going to cut the end off and uh, we'll keep playing with it. But I will tell you this right now, um, that thing cut like butter. It was awesome. Uh, so, you know, poplar's not a hard wood, but uh, so far I'm pretty impressed with what I have seen. So we'll we'll try some more cuts on it here in a second. Take a look at the wood that we've got here. It's beautiful. Uh, really nice, clean cut. Uh, man, I mean, that's almost, you could almost plane that. It's just beautiful. So doing a nice job so far.
done the second cut here and we learned a couple things when I was trying to cant and do the third cut. I had to put these taller ones back in because I needed to get above the center point. Otherwise the, the log would start to pivot. And then the way that this clamp's gonna work so that you don't have to mess up your log is uh, we put it down here underneath so it's not uh, going into the log itself. So we're gonna give it another whirl. Okay, so one thing I'm noticing here is that this has gotten backed up here and uh, as you can see a lot of sawdust got caught in here um, so I, that may be because we got a wet day that's my guess uh, that it didn't come through because of that but uh, something that I'll be watching a little bit more on well I've got a beam now 
and I think I'm going to stop here until I know exactly what I want to make with it. But uh, so far, I think I'm pretty satisfied with the saw. Um, the one thing I'm a little bit concerned about is uh, the sawdust coming out. You know, I may just have to come out and clean it out every once in a while. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. Um, in general, though, I think I've got a pretty good product and I feel pretty comfortable with it. I feel like it can meet my needs. You know, I'm a, I'm a weekend sawer, so I'm not doing this every day. Uh, but uh, we'll keep working on it. I'll uh, see what other feedback I have as I continue to use it further.